Welcome back, guys. Today, we'll be discussing the writings of the Jewish historian Josephus and what he had to say about Jesus as a historical figure and likewise John the Baptist. Before we discuss his writings, it's important to know who Josephus was. Titus Flavius Josephus was born in Jerusalem in 37 AD. At age 16, he became a priest and was of the sect of the Pharisees. As the Jewish revolt began against the Roman Empire in 66 AD, he was given military leadership in Galilee. Eventually, he was captured in 67 AD by the Roman Emperor Vespasian. For some brief context, Vespasian ruled from 69 AD to 79 AD in Rome. Vespasian made Josephus his slave and as well used him as a translator in his war against the Jews. Josephus was eventually freed after the Jewish war had ended and ended up writing two major works, that being a history of the Jewish war and the antiquities of the Jews. The writing we'll be using today is the antiquities of the Jews, which was written in 93 AD. We now move on to Josephus' writings on Jesus. Among historians, Josephus' writings on Jesus can be tricky. The majority of historians believe his writings pertaining to Jesus were forged or tampered with with early Christian scribes in later centuries. The quote shown on the screen is this tampered quote, in which Josephus sounds as if he believes Jesus to actually be the Christ. The problem with this was that Josephus was a practicing Jew and was even a Pharisee. And of course, they rejected the messiahship of Christ. So I will not be using this forged quote. Instead, I will be using an Arabic manuscript of Josephus, which dates to the 10th century. Scholars agree that this translation of Josephus' writings have not been tampered with, so we can reliably use them. Now that we have a reliable translation at hand, the quote we will be discussing comes from chapter 3 of book 18 of the Antiquities of the Jews. Josephus is speaking of Pilate and what Pilate has done in Judea. Josephus then mentions Jesus, and it goes as such. At this time, there was a wise man who was called Jesus, and his conduct was good, and his learning outstanding. And many people from among the Jews and the other nations became his disciples. Pilate condemned him to be crucified and to die. From this quote, we can gather evidence to support a historical foundation of Jesus, in which Jesus lived under the rule of Pontius Pilate in Judea, the states from 26 to 36 AD, as well that Jesus was a teacher as he had disciples and was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This evidence is important as some people reject the existence of Jesus. Josephus, on the other hand, helps establish Jesus as a historical figure. We as well can line this up with the four gospel accounts to see if they are accurate, in which it does line up historically. Josephus continues further on Jesus and speaks as such, and those who had become his disciples did not abandon their discipleship. They reported that he had appeared to them three days after the crucifixion and that he was alive. Accordingly, he was perhaps the Messiah concerning whom the prophets had recounted wonders. In this quote, we get a very crucial detail that lines up with the gospel accounts of Jesus and his disciples. Josephus records that after the death of Jesus, the disciples continued to preach and they reported that Jesus had appeared to them alive three days after his crucifixion. Due to the intertextuality of these texts, what we get is a more historical picture of the Gospels and their reliability. Josephus adds more historical foundation to characters in the Gospels. We see this especially with John the Baptist. Many regarded John as a prophet and a righteous man, so we see Josephus in the quote have a lighter perception of John the Baptist. The quote goes as such, now some of the Jews thought that the destruction of Herod's army came from God and was a very just punishment for what he did against John called the Baptist. For Herod had him killed, although he was a good man, and had urged Jews to exert themselves to virtue, both as justice towards one another and reverence towards God, and having done so joined together in washing. In this quote, Josephus builds a historical foundation for John the Baptist, as he did with Jesus. Not only that, but when we contrast Josephus' writings of John with that of the Gospels, they inevitably show a clear historical record. For example, Josephus records the death of John the Baptist as coming from King Herod. This, of course, is recorded in the Gospels in Matthew chapter 14. Then, Josephus records that John was a righteous man who had people cleansed in a washing and or baptism, which was done towards God. This is reflected in the Gospels as well. All this evidence further builds a case for the Gospels that the Gospels are not just a mythology or made-up story, but that they are truly documenting historical figures and events. To conclude the overall idea of this video, 
what we have here is a historical record of the Jews, and a Jewish historian simply recording figures that are as well present in the Gospels. Josephus being a practicing Jew gives him more reliability in confirming Jesus as a historical figure, as the Jews obviously were opposed to Jesus' claims as the Messiah. And even if we didn't have the Gospels, we could still build up an idea of what the disciples preached by using Josephus' writings. And that preaching, of course, is the death and resurrection of Jesus. And of course, as previously discussed, Josephus records John the Baptist and how he was a righteous man who baptized people for reverence towards God. Bringing all this evidence forward from Josephus, we could take away some of the main characteristics of Jesus' ministry on earth and provide a historical case for Christ. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be attempting to upload at least every Sunday, so subscribe if you guys want to see more, and uh, as well, comment feedback. I as well put Josephus' writings in the description below, so as always, read them for yourselves and create an opinion. Thanks for watching, guys, and God bless.